everyone. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how I do dialogue with pixel art. Um, and uh, I'm sure there's several ways to do this. This is the way I learned how to do it. Uh, I'm going to be working on a project that uh, I did sometime last year for an artist. His name is Andy Minio. Uh, he put out this little skit on his album and I thought it would be funny to animate it um, with this character that, that he plays in, in the skit. And so I'm going to teach you um, pretty much how I do it. Um, so first off, I, as you can see, I'm using Photoshop. Uh, the, I, you have Creative Cloud, so I can use Photoshop and Adobe Animate to uh, to animate this the way I want to. Um, and so the reason I use Photoshop is because Photoshop works with uh, pixels and Adobe Animate uh, works in vector. And if you can uh, research that if you're not familiar with that. Um, but so first off, uh, dimensions of the of the canvas that I'm working with. Um, so I, I go to image size right here. You see it's nine, 900 by 300, which is a pretty big canvas, but uh, I used it because I did a background that was kind of wide. So that's why I did it like this. And then um, also the more pixels you use, the more um, detail you can add because uh, obviously the less pixels the more blocky it looks and so you got that nintendo look that uh snes look sega genesis look or you know, even even more than that um but uh so i like it the way it looks here so um when i'm in here in photoshop i go into this uh workspace that's called motion if, if you don't if you're not in this you won't see this little uh timeline on the bottom so once i create this head I separate um, the eyebrows and the eyes. Uh, the reason I do this is because I want to also animate the eyes in different ways, uh, just to just to ex have more expressions on the, on the character's face. But what I do is I try to get all the vowels of, you know, that I want the character to have. So if I want them to, you know, say E, I'll I'll create a new page right here. But as you can see, we're still on the same layer as the first um, frame. So what we want to do is we want to turn off this this first head layer, create a copy by pressing Option and then pulling it up, and there's a copy of the head there. So in this copy, I can make a change. Oops, sorry. I can make changes to this. Sorry about that. I can make changes to this layer without affecting the first layer. Because the moment you start you start making changes, like if you try to go to the next frame and try to make changes with the same layer, the first layer will get affected. So there's a copy here. And so I just what I do is open this the guy's mouth a little bit. And I try to fill it fill it in. I'm just going quickly because obviously I don't I'm not gonna redo this whole animation. Um but just so you can get the gist of what I what I do, my process. Um, so I fill it in. I you know I fill in his mouth a little bit uh, with just kind of like he's opening his mouth. You know, so I brought it down and I open his mouth a little bit. This is not going to be perfect. This is just to kind of illustrate my point. So already you can already have this. You can even keep it as simple as this and have your character just do this if that's if you just want to keep it simple. And this this can seem like he's talking and he can be saying anything. Um, but if you want to be like a little bit more, you know, you want to animate, you know, the way he, they say, you know, the, the character says, they're, um, make it seem like they're saying O, uh, S, you know, the, all the vowels. If you want to be able to, an if you want to animate that, you can, you can do that um, this way. So this is like a very... Um, just kind of like a very uh, uh, brief way that I will explain this. Um, after this, I, I animate all the vowels all through here. You know, I create one for all the vowels, like the F, when he's saying F, S, E, O, U, or um, L, you know, anything that the character is saying with those letters, uh, I, I'll, I'll create something for the head. And so what I'll do is uh, after I've done that, I just remove all these parts and just keep the heads 
um, I keep the heads and then so I got all these different heads uh, you know saying different things and what I do is afterwards obviously I take out the background after I, I animate all these things uh, then I export it um, as a as a as a gif as a gif I'm sorry <laughs> as a gif um, and then I just say you know uh, you know guys head or talking or whatever whatever you want to name it uh, you save it to a folder whatever um, afterwards I'll go into Adobe animate and as you can see I have here um, already uh, what they call a symbol um, with uh, with the head with, with the head talking so well, to create a symbol you cre you you create uh, you press this button right here create a new symbol you name it you name it whatever like head head two, it was already head head two you you come in here uh, where did that save that sorry my desktop's kind of a mess right now um, oh there it is so once I, got, I create this new symbol I drag this guy's talking the guy talking gif and put it put it on the screen actually no I did that wrong sorry I create a new layer then I drag okay and then that that creates a symbol so when you create this the symbol as you can tell it's a little bit blurry compared to this head and I'm gonna tell you why okay once you go into the symbol you see all the little frames right here that we created and in Photoshop so the way um, the reason it's uh, it, does, it doesn't look clear it looks kind of blurry it's because um, uh, the, the dimensions are really small so it kind of um, it's like when you try and look at a picture with very low resolution it looks blurry but the great thing about pixels is that if you go into uh, if you go to modify you go to bitmap then you trace bitmap and then I put a threshold one maximum area one pixels normal um, you can even preview it and it shows you how you see how I made it clear um, so you press OK and it clears it so what I did so I wouldn't have to be going up here every single time I created a shortcut where uh, I just press U and then it pops up I press enter I go to the next one U enter U enter U enter U enter and then you enter so yeah you would have to I would recommend you go into here uh, go into uh, I believe preferences or sure uh, I typically just short shortcut keyboard shortcuts yeah go to shortcuts and then look for trace bitmap and then create your shortcut however you want to create it but um, so yeah um, so what this does with this what symbols do it creates like a container where you can put all your frames, all the animations that you create in Photoshop, and Photoshop, it, it puts it into this container. So what that does is once you go into, for example, uh, I'm gonna go to this one that I've already worked on. This, see, that's why I, I gotta label things better because then I'm not, it's this one, yeah. So I go into this container right here. And so as you can see, kids when I was four string shot put in East Dakota community no scholars you can see um, I already animated the, the, the <laughs> mouth movements so the way I did that is uh, obviously I put the audio clip inside Adobe animate but then I created this um, let me just mute this because it's kind of distracting so I created this like I said here's the container if, if you notice right here 
in my uh, frame picker, in this container, I have all the mouth movements. So I'm listening to the audio, and I and if he's saying something like, "Listen, kids," you know, I go here. I I try to look for where's like listen like. Like L right here. And then you see it created a frame here with the L mouth. And then I, I open the mouth a little bit more. And then I can have it close right after. So it can be like, la, you know. <laughs> you can say something, whatever. And then you can just have them just say whatever it is that you want them to say based on the recording. So the first thing you got to have, obviously, is the recording of the dialogue that you want and that way you can um, you can animate these mouth movements now there is something that Adobe uh, animate the new version provides that allows you to try to um, it tries to automatically uh, figure out um, uh, how to move the mouth based on how you program each frame uh, you you let you pretty much let Adobe Animate know which frame is you know saying ah uh, oh um, so you you can program that I can't remember exactly how to do that I have to look it up again but it's not perfect because it doesn't always uh, correctly detect what uh, what's being said so you know if if you're super like in a rush and you're really trying to get this done. Um, then maybe that's that's a way to do it. Uh, I'll probably do another tutorial on how to use that program. That way it can be um, easy for you guys to do. If you guys want to figure it out, um, you guys can figure it out on your own. But uh, I guess I'll do another tutorial based on you know the feedback you guys give me. Um, but yeah, so this is pretty much how I do the mouth movements. I'm sure I there's something that I didn't explain correctly, and I'm down to... Uh, come back to this and explain answer any questions uh, with another tutorial um, but I'm just trying to get my 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 you know my feet wet when it comes to tutorials because I'm this is my very first one so if there's anything uh, you guys have questions about um, let me know I will do other tutorials on other topics like you know how to make his um, his head because after so after so this is the thing after you create all this mouth movements like I said, you create this container, and then once you create this container, then you can do this, these head movements, and you don't see his mouth move because it's, this is what's what we call a, um, it's a movie clip instead of a graphic, and so movie clips work a little bit different from graphics. Graphics you can actually see the mouth moving, but uh, since we're having these uh, movements in the head, we have to use movie clips. But if you see, if we preview it. When Absolutely. I was four string shot put in East Dakota community, no scholarship. You think I gave up? No. Okay. I... So for some reason, uh, I'm not getting. Okay. Also, another thing you gotta learn. Uh, there's a lot to learn, so that's why I have to do multiple tutorials. Is that? You use this camera thing you press this camera right here and this camera and so you can move the camera where you want um, you, you can have a, uh, I'll do another tutorial on camera movements but pretty much that's it for dialogue um, let's take it one step at a time obviously I want to hear you guys' thoughts and maybe I can do something else and just a little bit more detailed and like I said I'm pretty sure there's some stuff I didn't explain the best way and i might do a second part to this but uh yeah hopefully you guys like it take care